Hey everybody, it's me Lisa, Transcendence Brown, and I'm going to do another video. It's been a while. Uh, look today, I was surprised at how many videos I actually had out there. I um, don't tend to keep track. And I went, I need to do a new video. I went to update my website and there were videos everywhere, so apparently I've done a lot. Uh, so, pretty cool. But videos tend to do better uh, for some of us as we become more sensory um, aware and less logical and the inability to read and retain, except um, especially when I write, I write so long uh, for everybody, especially when ancient knowledge is coming forth to share or um, something that will assist another. Um, I have found that writing in frequency, in light, um, makes it a bit easier to read, except when I do this, uh, a lot of people don't quite understand exactly what I say, but they do get it, they feel it, and that's all that matters, because that alone is an activation in itself. And so, to one's remembering, one's awakening, one's ascension, one's ascension process here. And so much more. Alright, so... I have several things I'd like to talk about, only because um, there's a lot going on. Uh, we've gone through some heavy-duty transitions lately, and lots of clearings. And I think lately for me, um, and y'all know I always share my own, because uh, it's what we're supposed to do, um, in order to assist another. Has been um, I, For the last year, I have been anchoring New Earth frequencies here in the physical um, so that others can come to exist here as well. Um, in doing this, in the beginning, I'm going to use my words, in the beginning I was human, and then I um, brought my higher self into my physical body, and in that process, we gravity goes and we float. And so I have floated for years. And then when New Earth, um, when I physically ascended, and, and came to walk on New Earth. Um, I did not expect the um, physical part of this process to be like it was. I did not quite <laughs> understand, I haven't understood anything on this journey until I experienced it. Um, I removed all outside influences so that I have only my um, higher self knowledge and ancient uh, wisdom in order to go by here. And so, Every word I speak is from my own remembering and um, multidimensional consciousness and me as a uh, remembering and, and becoming an ascended master again. And these are not words we use out of ego. We don't care. They are for the recognition and to empower others to understand, how, one, how much power we hold, and two, uh, that this is us in our natural form again here in the physical. Now, embodiment of the higher self. Um, this one actually um, sounds funny, was pretty easy uh, for me. Um, I just had to learn to let go of everything else that wasn't um, in alignment with that. And along the way, yes, it is tough. There's a lot of stuff that comes us, up for us to let go of. But we learn and we remember how important it is and we let go very easily here. And I can't go by another's journey because we all have our own experiences to share and to assist others with as a way shower. That's our job. We're all way showers. We're all light workers. We're all everything. We're all new earth light anchors and the frequencies just shifted and now my voice is <laughs> changing. And so let me see if I can adapt <clears throat> that and to retune a bit. All right. So let's see if we can get rid of that. Mm -hmm. It has been a very energetic day. We have been jumping quantum style and doing a lot of um, things uh, lately that have been um, quite magnificent. Um, in amongst all the stuff that is not so magnificent that's coming up for clearing. Now, I did not foresee any of this journey um, before it came about. Um, but embodiment of the higher selves um, okay no big deal now um, we don't have memories here we don't care it goes um, I can only remember something when somebody asks me and then it's in response to their own answer um, because other than that we don't hold on to anything uh, at all 
outside of present moment because that's all existed. This moment, this second. And they went from moments to seconds because things shift so quickly now. But multidimensional um, is taking on a whole new um, meaning lately. Um, because used to be we were multidimensional in our sleep. And then um, becoming multidimensional in the physical uh, realm and existing in multiple realms at one time. Anchoring in the higher light frequencies here and um, bringing forth and transmitting a new earth um, hologram in order to have it anchor here. Uh, we are the light grid and so we do this. Um, there is um, so much that's uh, magnificent about this and awesome um, once we get all the other stuff out of the way. Now, ancient knowledge came forth really easy for me when it, but then the ancient energies of the old, um, so far beyond here, Lemurian and, and galactic um, consciousness, and when that started coming forth, I did not realize how much pain and trauma there was there. I did not have the awareness of it until it came up inside of me. And when the energy comes up, I recognize it, um, usually, sometimes I don't, but I will clear for the entire collective, so I will bring it up with force, and I will bring up as much as I can and, quote, suffer through it um, into order to get as much out as I can, because once we do, uh, we integrate, we unify. It takes a bit um, and to do this um, sometimes. Um, sometimes it's really quick, within a matter of minutes or hours. The last time took me um, a couple days. Uh, it was a big, big, big biggie. And it was pretty rough going through it, but at the same time I understood it. So we just know, um, bring it up, get it out, let it go. Um, sleep to integrate, clear all of the timelines between this one and that one, the old and the new and um, then synchronize everything in, into unification here. So um, when you understand how to navigate, it's very easy to do this at will. Um, it's it's a, just a process, that's all it is. And um, sometimes this part, there are parts of this journey and that are not so cool um, while we're going through them, especially when we're going through them um, it used to be we couldn't shift out. I can shift, um, but I choose not to um, because I know how important it is to, to, to clear and unify the energy here um, for all. And so um, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I'm talking anyway. All right, so the biggest thing that I can see lately is we have so many aspects that we're unifying here. One or ancient lineages so far beyond this place, um, but they're just spaces that we um, come to exist in again, um, they are us in pure energy form um, here, and we bring this forth, and we anchor it in, and it's ours, um, and we hold it here, but I've floated and flown for so many years that now it's time to anchor in a physical. This has been confusing for many months, and it's taken a lot of, um, it's become an art, to say the least, to do some of this um, along the way. Uh, because when the lucid dream anchors in, when the higher realms anchor in, when the other dimensions anchor in, whatever word you want to use, when you expand beyond the quantum field and become the unified field, um, and you hold it here, then it's, mm, how do I say this? You're walking as you, or I'm walking as me, as a human again, but not the old human. It's without the fear, it's without the old stuff, the guilt, the blame, the shame, the um, whatever, the lack of respect, lack of integrity that everybody held. There is not one of us, it's without the judgment. Um, it's, it's now like being human again, but without the old stuff in the way. And by doing this, having access to multiple dimensions all at one time, I didn't expect ha to, to come to a place to have to live a, quote, life um, as a human again. 
Yeah, this has uh, this has been a bit confusing, um, but not really, uh, because you get it. You just know. It's explaining it is a bit confusing because I I understand it. I see it. I get it. It's here. I've done it. Um, but to actually use say the words, words are very limiting for us here. But technically, um, we get to choose which parallel. We get to command realities. We get to call them forth and bring them here. We get to focus intently on what we want and just bring it. Um, now, it is if it is a human request, the old human request, that feeding an old human energy, then um, it's, we're not going to get exactly what we think we're going to get. And there is no way to perceive this journey in advance. Um, it's just you got to do it. you got to jump with both feet of your heart and let go of absolutely everything safe in place. You have to pay attention. You have to come from honor and respect and love in every moment and nothing less. Um, there is no playing um, games in this reality except for the fact that there is. Uh, we play a lot. We have a lot of fun. It's magnificent. I think for me, coming back to a place of now being the new human race um, has been a, a bit um, of not really so much a challenge, but it has a little bit because I did I could not perceive that I was to live a physical human life um, without all of that stuff here, I, and, and the floating is gone. The lucidness is gone. It's all a new reality, and it's real, and it's here, and things don't bend like they used to. Well, not really, um, because that's what happens as we're releasing the, um, what is it, the, the um, web, the um, grid lines, the, um, the quantum field, all of the, everything that held it in place is gone. Um, and we expand so far beyond that. We don't exist in one dimension anymore. Uh, we exist in all of them at one time. And um, we don't ever really contract again. Even expansion is quite different. My body doesn't expand uh, like it used to. Um, all the physical density is pretty much gone. Um, I'm aware, I write all day long on Facebook for others as to what's occurring. Um, and I get a ping that tells me what's being hit and targeted. In my body, it's just like, boom, and then I know. Um, there is, every once in a while, that is deep, deep, deep stuff. And it'll be ping, 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 ping all over the body, and I'll write, and then um, I'll go to sleep and, and, and wake up, and everything's new again. That's the beauty of it. Every moment is new. Every day is new. We're not in the same reality we were before. Um, to be able to access so many dimensions in the waking state is quite phenomenal. Only word for it. Um, the amount of power that we hold as masters is beyond anything we could have perceived uh, before. The amount of knowledge, yeah. And we just have to share what we have and help others and assist others in, in coming to remember the same thing too. We are energy, pure and simple, that is it. We are frequencies. And when we come to master energy, um, as we are in purest form, we have the power to do absolutely anything we desire. And this is how... Um, Humanity has changed. This is how we do this. We hold so much light. This is the cool part. We hold so much light that our light is um, amplified. A photonic light pings about inside our body. The quickening when it occurs is all of our cells moving about really, really fast. And the electromagnetic energy that comes from the inside out it's like a huge pinball machine in there, and you know realities are shaping, all kinds of cool stuff's coming forth. Now, the key is to understand what to look for. Um, and this is what I teach, uh, share in the mastery community and mastery courses. Because if you don't know what to look for, you miss out. Um, there are so many amazing gifts. There's no lack here. 
you don't do without anymore. You gotta get rid of the old perceptions though if you desire to exist in a reality that is a magnificent and bliss and love. And now, some days, you always, always, always hold these um, as the way you are. Never leaves anymore. Um, but some days you're clearing, and that's okay. You just clear it out. We call forth souls to us to help us see what was inside of us. Um, recently, I've been going through the twin soul, um, the, the divine union experience, um, which has been a, quite a, a beautiful and mm, <laughs> interesting challenge, for sure. Um, I have been able to maintain my higher self aspect at all times. Um, but in, in order to unanchor and bring forth all of the old Lemurian and, and energies and that had yet to clear, um, I needed a, my twin to come forth and, and dredge all of this stuff um, up within me and trigger it and bring it out. Um, we're actually now helping each other um, raise the consciousness, um, and raise consciousness in different ways. And um, I won't go into all of the details here. I share that more, and I am um, setting it with um, the mastery community, and just out of respect. Um, but it's been an amazing experience um, to be able to come to see um, how all of this was programmed, how we program these realities inside our DNA, how we um, can completely call forth anything we desire. But then we got to be ready. we got to be ready to let go of that which um, is not here to serve um, the highest uh, light frequency um, for all. Um, for me, with mine, it's moment by moment. It changes in every moment. Um, I have come to... Um, see uh, that I needed to be opened back up um, and there was old love stuff in there that never cleared uh, from ancient lineages that I was not aware of that I would not have been able to access on my own. Um, now the thing that um, always remains to be seen is how far this one goes. Um, I originally was shown that this was to open me up to the possibility of whoever. I had to, at one point in time, um, remove myself um, and clear the human. Um, and I'm still doing this. I'm having to clear anything that's human and of a lower or old earth dimension frequency that's still inside of me and raise the vibrational frequency of all of that back up. Um, it's just old energy, and when it gets triggered, I'm aware of what it is, and then I go to gratitude. In the beginning, it was quite hard. I had to remove my um, attachment, is the only word I have, to the human and that carried the energy forth, and to know that this energy can be present in any um, physical form that I encounter once I have cleared all of the other dimensional timelines of anything less that isn't pure um, energetically. And so I'm able to actually see where there's some old, um, just old things, not big deals, just heavy duty stuff comes up, but I don't tend to look at it and, and worry about what it is. I just know it's energy that's got to go. Um, so, anyway, not going to go into too many details of that just because um, it's right now it's a respectful thing and it's, it's more of I do better when somebody will ask me a question because then I can answer it directly instead of trying to look at the entire thing and, and cover it all in a uh, quote short video of 19 minutes already. Um, anchoring in, becoming more physical experience here. Um, it's hard. And there, are, there are no really human days left, um, as of the old, the old human days were anger and, and all that kind of stuff, and, and if that comes up, so what? We see it's just energy, it goes really quickly. Um, we are never unconscious again. We live from outside uh, the veils. Um, we can see the veils lift, 
and go back in place. Um, I'm aware of when they're there and when they're not. I'm aware of when we are expanding. I'm aware of when the portals open up. I'm aware of everything um, in an open-eyed state. And this is why I write to assist others as well. So right now we're getting slammed in the throat area. <coughs> so I apologize for that. But not really, because it's just part of the process as well. And um, I don't know if this helped anybody, but I'm going to go ahead and post it because sometimes it does. Um, Multidimensional, living in the physical one here, and, and embodying all of ourselves here in this one, and, and being able to hold the frequencies um, of our mm, higher self, other dimensional aspects here. Um, has been a beautiful experience and now um, when the dimensions um, would collapse um, and take us back to a single or a limited dimension then all the limits that were there before get put back in place to recognize this and realize they're not real and then it's just a, a momentary thing we just wait it out we observe what's present we clear anything that comes up within us so that we can expand again. Every challenge that comes forth is for our own expansion to go beyond the limits that are imposed. We don't believe them, they're not real, they're there to cause us to expand into another dimensional realm and bring it forth for embodiment here. So, quite the experience, absolutely amazing, and I will talk one moment about quantum jumping. Quantum jumping, our cells, are quantified now. Our subatomic molecular structure moves about in light. Photonic light is inside of us, electromagnetic energy. It is quite interesting. Our light body tuning and the zap zap, and I can actually, we build up so much electro electromagnetic energy that it's just boom, delete, and the programs are gone. And it's just been going on for a year and a half, two years. But it's so easy now, there's not much left. Um, I had to go through all of my neural pathways, my universal corridors, so whatever you want to call them, being opened up um, for about a year. And then once they were completely open in the eye of Horus and, and in the frontal lobe and, and unify my brain, human mind, or whatever you want to call it, it's not really human mind, but my unified mind ex expanded, your heart and your mind synchronized until they expand into as the unified field. Then there's no any separation anymore, which is what was confusing for a while, because I, I couldn't tell which reality was present, which is when I started setting up markers, and now I just use the markers, and now I don't even need them anymore, except for little ones that are fun. Um, my grasshopper tells me I'm about to jump, and there's been lots of grasshoppers lately, which is cool. But I can just um, observe the cells in my body. I know when quickening is going on. I know when reality is reshaping. I know what to look for. You call everything a gift. Everything is sacred. Everything is energy, and when you understand energy, you understand absolutely everything because this is who you truly are. Nothing else. This physical form doesn't matter. Physical world doesn't matter. It's our creation. We now, um, we, this is us. There is no other way to explain it. So, okay. I've gone on uh, in circles again, as I usually do. Y'all know me. And it's my spiral thing, and we just go round and round and, and, and move about and talk about whatever. And um, We'll do the next uh, online community, uh, mastery online community um, gathering in a few days, and we're going to be doing more of these. And so if you're able to join us, uh, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm hearing from so many about how they are just um, expanding and, and the experiences with the light and the MP3 uh, up, um, activations. Everything is light encoded. Everything's an upgrade. Everything is to assist you with anchoring more light inside of you and unification from within. Everything is to assist you in becoming a master here and remembering absolutely everything when no more veils in place. There will always be veils but not to the magnitude that they were before. They're just little ones, and if each day a new veil is lifted, and we're like, ah, oh, I didn't see that. No big deal. Pretty cool. So, yes, that outside world out there is so completely different. It is not the same one as it was before. The new skies, the new hues, you name it, magical. 
So, go out there, look for the magnificence, start calling those new realities forth, start remembering. You are not in the same timeline as you were before. You're not in the same dimension. You're not in the same realm. Nothing. The only thing that keeps you there is your physical body and that which you hold inside, the emotions you hang on to, the, the safe stuff that you think matters, and your human mind. Uh, all of the things that uh, we have to transcend and come to unify with our higher self aspect, our soul, here in the physical, and walk quantum style. This is how we do it. And so, and yes, talk about magnificent. When we start jumping, we don't stop. We just jump and we jump and we jump. And it is absolutely mm, magnificent to observe. And all limits removed. They don't exist, loves. They never did. We messed it all up. We, not really. It's the, it's the program we chose. So, but, okay. I'm going to go because I have some work that has to be done and I have a lot of things to do and I will come back and do maybe another pointless video sometime very soon <laughs> and share with you all because I absolutely love you. So, from so far beyond this place, uh, your family and I absolutely love that and I appreciate our connections with every one of you and all of those who are helping out um, and sharing more light and assisting on your own because um, we have a lot of work to do. Thank you. And I uh, appreciate it more than you know. So I love you. Aloha. And may every moment be magnificent beyond. Uh, mahalo.